All right, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> this is my second upload. I was rushing around this morning, I grabbed the video and I put it online. I tagged it, did all that stuff, then slate, and then I left. I had to go a function, an early night, an early morning function. Basically a meeting. I didn't get, I, could, I didn't check my phone. I didn't check my emails. So I just checked it and I saw that my video got cut off. So oh, I'm sorry about that. Here's the new video, full length, the Grapner Polaron Charger Extravaganza update two year thing, okay? Anyway, so let's, let's start the checkup. Okay, so I've had this guy for, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna put it on the screen how long I've had it for. And I just wanted to do do an update. I, I've always seen reviews of things of cars like right after they get the, the product and not so much if they're still, not, uh, not, not so much after they have had it for a while. So that's why I like making these checkup videos to let you guys know how the products that I have are holding up. I got this to replace my MRC 977. It was very slow at charging my LiPo. So that was very old LiPo technology. This one is a lot faster. So that's why I ended up getting it. Um, let's see if I can adjust the exposure so you guys can see the screen. So there's a lot of different functions on here, as you guys can see, but you know, I don't use, I don't use half of them. I just use the, the charge, the discharge, and that's about it. There, there's the charge function. Why am I showing you this? Was there a reason why I was showing you this? This is really bad, Evan. If you can't remember why you wanted to do this. Oh, I think that's why. I said this in my other review, if you guys saw that, but I thought I thought this thing was broken like right after I got it because I was trying to press it. Uh, of course, now it's working, but this is not like your iPhone screen. It doesn't have that type of uh, touching where you can just touch it with your finger. You either need to touch it with your fingernail or with this included stylus. I don't have time to, to pluck the stylus out of the side of the out of the side, so I just usually use my fingernail to do stuff, which is fun, which works out pretty pretty good. I probably need to crack it open to like take care of some of the dust that might be happening on the inside because there are fans in the back to keep it cool, and there's probably some dust buildup on the inside, so I probably should do that. But uh, the charge has been working great; it's been working good. Ever since I got it, I haven't really had any problems except for the touch screen and that was quickly found out. There has been one thing, and I might have mentioned this before, but that is the, the stock connectors wear out. This is the, the circuit board, the, the cell board I guess you could say. You use this for plugging your, your sensor, your, your balancing plug into. So this is this is uh, one cell all the way to seven? Seven cells, yes. But something happened in this board that it just stopped working. It did it wasn't recognizing it. When you hit the charge, when you hit the charge and you hit start, it will say if there's any cells detected and it just wasn't working. The board I don't know, something, something happened so it just wasn't working. So these are these are wires that are that were made for uh, 2S West lipos so you got your got your negative and you got your positive and you have your balancing wire right there in the middle so you just plug these three in and then on the other end it plugs into the charger so you got your minus got your positive and then you take this little plug right here and plug it into this bottom section now it did take me a while to realize that that's the way that it goes in because these are these plugs were originally made for I think the eye charger. Really, I need to put I need to get this plug on it. And the guy that made these wires actually I think is at my track. He comes to my track, so maybe I could get him to do it. But really, this plug should be on here to make it easier to to figure out which which end goes where. But once I once I figured that out, I got these wires, and I haven't had a problem since with the car with the charger. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope this uh, this was able to help you guys if you guys are looking for a new charger. Yeah, I actually, I got this, like I said, I got this to replace the 977. At the time, the Orion Duo was having power supply issues, but I'm pretty sure that's been rectified, that's been changed, that's been fixed, because a lot of people at my track have that charger, and it's been working well for them. So that's great. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, and subscribe, um, don't forget to hit that check the little bell next to the subscribe button as well. So you can be notified when I upload something. All right, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week in the next video.
or at the track.